hi guys welcome back to my channel um so in today's tutorial we're going to be solving a few questions under the topic progression okay and i've divided in, this into two videos which is we'll solve a few questions under arithmetic progression we'll solve a few questions under geometric progression okay and um, in text you might see this as sequence and series okay but it just means the same thing progressions so um before we get into the actual questions i just want to give you like a quick um overview of arithmetic progression now i assume that you already know this topic but just to juggle your memory a bit let's um talk about a few things first thing there's something called a which is refers to the refer to the first term of an arithmetic progression or a geometric progression so a is your first term and there's something called d which is referred to the common difference okay i'll explain this one um in a, in a, in a minute and then the formula for finding a term, say you want to find the second or the third term or whichever term in the sequence, which is usually represented as u n, is a plus n minus one d. Okay, so now this is what this means. So let's say you have a um a set of numbers, okay, an, an arithmetic progression. So let's say I have two, um five, <coughs> eight, eleven, as uh, and so on. Okay. And um, the first term looking at this progression is 2. So my 2 is A. Now, common difference is the difference between the second term and the first term, or the um, third term and the second term, or the fourth term and the third term, like that, like that. It's just the difference between um, two terms, okay? And this formula is what you use to find. Let's say, let's say I have a question like that. I say, find me the 15th term. So to find the 15th term, you say U15 is equal to, you put the first term, you put the 15, 15 represents N. So n is 15 and then multiply by your common difference okay uh, and there's one more formula which is to find which is um the formula for finding the sum okay so if i was told like to find the sum of this arithmetic progression i cannot start finding every single term in the progression and then after adding it together that would take forever okay so there's a formula to find that and the formula is sn is equal to 2a plus <coughs> sorry uh, 1 over 2n first open bracket 2a plus n minus 1 d okay so this is how you find the sum so um with these formulas that we have we can go ahead and solve a few questions so question number one it says find the 19th term of the arithmetic progression 5 over 6 8 over 6 11 over 6 and so on and so on so first of all looking at this um question we can say that our a which is the first term is 5 over 6 right so what is our d d refers to common difference i'm going to take the second term which is 8 over 6 and subtract the first term from it 5 over 6 now since these two values have the same denominator we can keep that denominator and do 8 minus 5 which is 3 over 6 which is also 1 over 2 so we found that d is equal to 1 over 2 now we can now find the 19th term of the um sequence so u19 or 19th term is equal to a plus n minus 1 d okay this is the general formula so a refers to 1 over 2 plus a is 5 over 6 sorry a is 5 over 6 plus n minus 1 n is 19 we're looking for the 19th term minus 1 multiplied by d which is 1 over 2 this is 5 over 6 plus 19 plus, uh, minus 1 is 18 so 18 multiplied by 1 over 2 so um 2 year 1 2 year 9 so we are left with 5 over 6 plus 9 this can just be written as 9 whole number 5 over 6 uh, which is d Okay, so that's how you solve this. Um, our second question here it looks something like um, a um, what is it called? A word problem question, but it's still an arithmetic progression question. It says the first term of an AP is equal to thrice the common difference. So let's write that out. So A is equal to three times D, right? What is the sixth term of the AP if the common difference is eight? So we are told that the sixth term is equal to what? Sorry, is what we are looking for, right? And I told that the common difference, D, is equal to 8. So that means that your A is equal to 3 times 8, which is equal to 24. So now we have 24 as our first um, value. Instead of us to start looking for um, all the other values, you just use your formula for finding um, the term. So U6 will be equal to A plus N minus 1, D. A, as we've gotten, is 24 plus N, 6 term. We're looking for 6 minus 1 multiplied by D, which is 8. This is... 24 plus 5 times 8, which is 24 plus 40, which is 64. And our answer is A. 
Okay, so this question says, find the fifth term of the sequence. Now, this question does not tell us whether um, this um, question is an arithmetic or a geometric progression. It just says, find the fifth term of the sequence. So what you do when you see a question like this is that you try to ascertain the relationship between each term of the sequence. So I know that if I subtract 2 from 5, I should have 3 here, right? So the difference here is 3. Now, between 5 and 10, the difference is 5. And between 10 and 17, the difference is 7. So what I'm noticing is that this is going up by 2. Okay, so instead of them to add um, 3 to this one, they added 5. So they added 2 to this one and then they added their answer to the next term. And I told to find the fifth term of the sequence. Here we already have four terms. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4. And if I continue counting this one, we have 3, 5, 7. If I add 2 to it, we have 9. So the difference between the fourth term and the fifth term should be 9. And um, 17 plus 9 is 26. So that means that your fifth term is 26, which is D. All right, guys, this is question number four, and it says the tenth term of an AP is 32. So let me first write that out. We have U10 is equal to 32, right? And say if the first term is 3 over 2, so A is equal to 3 over 2, what is the fourth term? Now, one thing I notice here is that it doesn't give us the common difference. But because we have the, 32, um, the tenth term and the first um, term, we can always find the common difference. Take our, our answer and use it to find the fourth term. So this 32 is also... A plus 10 minus 1D, right? So 32 is equal to A we know is 3 over 2 plus 9D. That means that um, 9D is equal to 32 minus 3 over 2. Um, I know that this is 1 whole number 1 over 2. So 32, 32 minus 1 whole number 1 over 2 should give us 30 whole number 1 over 2, right? So 9D is equal to 30 whole number 1 over 2. This can be written as um, 61 all over 2. So that means that if we cross multiply, it means that 18D is equal to 61. Therefore, D is equal to 61 all over 18, right? Now that we have our D, we have our A, we can find our first, our first term. Our first term is equal to A plus 4 minus 1D. That means it's equal to A plus 3D. So let's substitute our values. A is 3 over 2 <coughs> plus 3 multiplied by 61 all over 18. 3 year 1, 3 year 6. So we are left with 3 over 2 plus 61 all over 6. LCM is 6, 2 in 6 is 3, 3 times 3. We have 9 plus 61 is equals to 70 all over 6. 2 year 35, 2 year um, 3. Our answer is 35 over 3. Our fourth term, that is A. Question number five. So sometimes we have questions like this, and whenever we have something like this, we usually end up with a simultaneous equation um, kind of situation where you now have to find your values for A and D and then use those values to find whatever you're asked to find. So let's let's break this down. It says the third term of an arithmetic progression, so is equals to minus nine, and the seventh term is minus twenty-nine. Find the tenth term. So what this means is that the third term, if we write it using our formula, is a plus 3 minus 1d, right? And this is, I told is equals to minus 9. That is a plus 2d is equals to minus 9. So this is equation 1. If you do the same thing for the seventh term, you would have that a plus 6d is equal to minus 29, right? Call this equation 2. Now, no, how you solve some general equation? Now let's use the elimination method. So we subtract, subtract the equations. a minus a is 0. 2 minus 6 is minus 4D is equals to, this one becomes minus 9 minus minus 29. That is minus 9 plus 29, which is same as 29 minus 9, which is what? 20. So here we have 20. So D is equals to 20 divided by minus 4, which is just minus 5. Right? So we've gotten our value for D. Now we have to find our value for A. Which means that we can just pick any one of these equations, substitute our value for D, and find our value for A. So if I pick the first one, it means that A is equal to minus 9. I move this one over here, minus 2D. So A is equal to minus 9 minus 2 multiplied by minus 5, right? Minus 2 times minus 5 is just <coughs> plus 10, right? So this is minus 9 plus 10, which is 10 minus 9, which is 1. So our first term is 1, and our D is minus 5. So therefore, we can find our tenth term. Our tenth term should be a plus 10 minus 1d, right? Which is a plus 9d. So a is 1 plus 9 multiplied by minus 5. So 1 minus 45 is equal to minus 44. So our tenth term is minus 44, which is a. Alright guys, so I'm just editing this video right now. I realized I didn't film this um 
question but i solved it so this question is very similar to the one that we just did now it says the fifth term of an ap is 24 and the eleventh term is 96 so it has to find the first term all you have to do is to write an equation for the fifth term which would be a plus 4d and for the eleventh term which would be a plus 10d and then you can now from that using um substitution method you can find the first term of the value or you use the elimination method you first of all eliminate a you find d and then you substitute back into um into one of those equations to find your value for a all right so this is the last question um for this uh tutorial and it says that the third term of an ap is 4x minus 2y so this is giving us in form of an expression right so the third term is equal to 4x minus 2y and the ninth term is 10x minus 8y find the common difference okay and you can see that your answers are given to you in form of expressions too right so first of all if we use the formula <coughs> our formula that tells us the value of um, at the nth term which is um a plus n minus 1d we're going to have that our third term is equal to a plus 2d right and our ninth term is equal to a plus 8d now if we subtract these two equations a minus a nothing so it goes away 2 minus um 8 we have minus 6d 4 minus 10 is minus 6x and here we have minus 2y minus 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 8y which will now be <coughs> plus 6y so what we have here is minus 6d is equal to minus 6x um plus 6y okay now we can just divide both sides by 6 right so if i divide here by minus 6 this one cancel this one if i divide here by minus 6 however this might be difficult to evaluate but let's do something let's bring out minus 6 because i can see that minus 6 is common to these two right so if i bring out minus 6 here i have minus 6 open brackets x minus y right because if you use this one to multiply this one you have plus y so when you bring out minus from plus you should have minus left all over minus six so minus six can cancel minus six we are left with d is equals to x minus y which is c